Hello friends, welcome back to Mustang. In today's session, we are going to talk about how many ways we can access non mule API inside your AnyPoint platform. So there are multiple ways. The first one is very simple. You can create a simple uh, mule app inside our AnyPoint Studio and use the HTTP component, request component, and then configure our non mule API endpoint over there. Second option is we can go for the proxy and configure our implementation URL inside the proxy as the non-mule API uh, endpoint. Okay. But in these two options, uh, we need to deploy these both options inside your runtime manager. That means both the guys who are going to consume your minimum 0.1 vehicle. Okay. Now I'm going to talk about the third option, which is endpoint data graph, which is a managed service. We don't need to deploy anything in the runtime manager for third option. Okay. So, what and how we are going to access that non mule API with the help of any point data graph? So, first thing, what we need to do, we need to create the, so let's say we need to describe our non mule API inside your any point, in any point platform first. Okay. So, that means we need to create a RAML for that non mule API inside our design center. And then publish it to the exchange. Once we publish it to the exchange, we can add that to our AnyPoint data graph. And then from data graph, we can access our non mule API. So let's jump onto the demo. I'll show you how to access that without deploying anything inside the runtime manager. Let me start with the demo. I log in to my AnyPoint platform. Once you log in, you'll find data graph over here. Before you know, jumping onto the demo part, if you want to contribute the data graph, you need to have proper permission. So let me show you that permission. So if you go to your access management, if you are using new features, you need to go to the team section. Okay. And inside the team section, this is your root team. So you are a part of all the members of your organization who are part of this team. Okay. And then here you need to add that permission. Okay. Because root team won't be having any permission at all. Okay. You need to go here and add the permission. Just go to the add permission section, search for data graph. So you can see here these are the contribute, consume, operate, and data graph at this. So go ahead and select all those options. Okay. Next, select your business group, master business group. Select all the environments and then add them. Okay. Once you do this, then you can directly jump onto the data graph. Okay. So before the first step to access the non mule API, we need to describe that API inside the design center. So let's go ahead here. I have already created that API description to save our time. Let me show you that. So I have created user restful API. So before going to the API specification, I'll show you what is that normal API looks like. Okay. So this is a publicly available REST API. We call it REST starting. You go here, go to single user, you can use this URL for the demo. Okay, so let me use this URL. So whatever output we are seeing here, we are going to achieve this via any point platform. Okay, so if you get three, you get a data for three. If I give 27, there is no data for 27. Okay, you get MD. Okay. So let's see this behavior from any point data. Let me copy that URL. Okay. I can on to the our studio. Okay. And then here I have described that API. Okay. So you can see here I have users resource with the URI parameter. And you can see the same output which we have seen on the web page. Same output for okay. this one. Okay. 
Use the options if you want to hide anything, sensitive data, or if you don't want to show any methods from your API, then you can do that. But that is not our requirement today. So, what we'll say, anybody will go ahead with add to any pet schema. So, this API specification will be added to the global unified schema. Proceed to the unified schema. And this method, what we are seeing here, this is automatically created based on the EP specification. Okay, so we have EP specification where the, the add the resource slash user slash your parameters based on that this method, you know, behind the scene got created. So it will update the impact schema. So let me pause the video for now. So our unified schema is updated. That means our EPA specification is added to the input schema. Then we can go ahead and run the query. So this will give us the UI to run the graphical queries. So I'll just remove the history part. Okay. So let's start from the scratch. So we we'll build the query here. See, I'll make it auto suggestion if you place control plus uh, space bar. So I got the default option is query. So right now the data graph only supports the query part. Okay, so mutations and other parts are not supported by the data graph. So maybe in future to I don't know. So that uh, future roadmap. Okay, so right now we can only query. So let's go inside and again with control state bar you can see here I got the user by ID option. User by ID is expecting the ID parameter you can see that automatically and this is the string parent. Okay, so let me pass this. I will start with five. Go ahead and again press control space. So we have seen that 
user or having two objects support and data, let me call it data. Inside the data, you are having multiple things like first name, name, last name. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this way. That you can see that we are able to see the proper output. Let me run the same URL with the parameter pi over here. See, same Charles here also, and same Charles in our data graph also. So here we can see that. We have not deployed anything. Let me show you that. Is there anything in the runtime manager? Nothing has been deployed in the runtime manager. Without deploying anything in the runtime manager, we are able to access the non mule API. Definitely, if you wanted to apply proxy, you know, uh, security of your choice, if your URL is not secure, then definitely the option is the proxy API. But if you don't have that kind of requirement, then you know this managed service any point data graph is the helpful option for us. Okay, so that's all from this session. Hope you liked it. Okay, Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.